Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a Minecraft computer that I made. Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. So, here first I'm just going to kind of move around and so you can like see it all. Uh, here I'm just going to teleport upward. Okay, so yeah, this is the Minecraft computer, computer I made. It's 8 bits, uh, it takes like 10 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds to run an instruction. Uh, and it's was a lot of work, so yeah, let's let's go into more detail. All right, so here we have the kind of stop and start levers, um, which can be in, begin it in the program. Uh, here's kind of the, the loop the instruction path takes to turn like on and off various things. Uh, now I'm gonna make my way over to like the instructions themselves, uh, which are these guys. I'm trying to build a second layer, but I haven't quite completed it. Um, so yeah, the redstone blocks represent kind of the ones and zeros of the instructions. Uh, there's, so far I have eight instructions, which is pretty small, so it kind of limits what I can do, but I can build more. It goes from zero to seven. Um, so yeah, now we can fly over. All right, so this is kind of where I move my instructions into being executed. And this is further along where I kind of select, turn that binary into what actual instruction signal is being sent out to the rest of the computer. Uh, okay, and now uh, here's some parts of the computer. I guess first I'll start with the multiplication. So yeah, this this guy right here, this is where I multiply the eight by eight digit numbers, uh, and it only keeps track of eight binary digits. Uh, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of <laughs> redstone copy pasting. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so that's that. And now I will make my way over to the subtractor. Uh, which basically works by adding the numbers um, and then basically reversing one of the numbers ones and zeros and then adding it, which is like a nice trick uh, to subtract numbers. There, Here's my, my adder uh, right next to it. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, here's like comparisons, uh, like equal or greater than or equal. Um, yeah, so now we can like fly over this. Uh, yeah. This, now I'm going to be showing you my registers, which is what you do comparisons between, and like basically everything's done through the registers. So this is register two right here, and then the other one is register one. And so yeah, now, now here's my memory. It's 16 eight digit numbers uh, in binary, of course. Um, so yeah, that's again a, a very large number of redstone blocks. Um, and this is kind of my memory control. and here is the, the other register, register three, which is kind of the output of the first two registers. And the important thing is register three can write to memory. So it's kind of memory can go to register one and two, one and two can write to three, and three can write to memory. So you get, get kind of the full loop. All right, so finally, I'm gonna be showing my instruction counter, which keeps track of, where, of which instruction we're on from zero to 127. Of course, right now, it only goes from zero to seven in practice, but in theory, you could add a lot more instructions and it still work. And here's kind of like where I add uh, by one, I can do a plus one increment. We have if statements, which is a lot of this, this stuff in here, here's the output. Um, and here are actually the instructions I have. These are all the instructions you can do. There are uh, 15 of them. So yeah, uh, it, it can be very difficult to program with it because a lot of them are very simple, but in practice you can do uh, whatever you need. Uh, it's, it's Turing complete. All right, so next up, I'm going to be showing my uh, an example where I compute the Fibonacci numbers. I've turned on my program. You can see it moving around the loop. And you can also see if we go over here, we can see new instructions being loaded um, every once in a while, every, every time the loop completes. So that's a new instruction being sent to it. So now what we, we're going to do is we're going to go over the register 1 and register 2. Um, the glowstone, when it's on, that represents a 1, and when it's off, it's a 0. And so you'll actually see the uh, Fibonacci numbers starting to appear. Again, it does take uh, quite a long time, but uh, so I'll put in a time lapse. All right, so once we want to stop and we're done, we can uh, kind of teleport back to our um, kind of control panel, and we can click the stop lever like this here and that will pause the program it will also reset the instruction counter to zero um, so we're ready to start anew uh, so yeah uh, that, that's my computer 
that's uh, an example program you can run in it. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it taught you uh, something about Minecraft computers and that Minecraft is technically Turing complete, if, at least if you had an infinite world and infinite time. Um, yeah, I guess the final thing, you, I'm going to probably add more instructions, um, perhaps at some point, so you can run more than eight instructions, because otherwise it's a bit limiting. But yeah, here's a, a, again, kind of a zoom out with all the different parts, a uh, bunch of wires connecting them. Uh, the stuff in the very far distance isn't part of it, but all, all this all this stuff that we talked about is. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.